Next up, we got the X16 for our best uh, class setups in the pistol category. Like I said, we're doing the pistols first. Now, the X16 is actually a Glock 21 Gen 4, okay? And the Glock 21, phenomenal handgun. I got a Glock 17 Gen 4. I absolutely love it, but the 17 is 9mm, 21 is 45 ACP, as the X16 is right here in front of us. Now, I have a couple variants. Now, the variants don't really do anything. I just like how they look because, like, the attachments that are on it, I don't like them. We're not going to be using them. So, we're going to go in here. We're going to hit Y. We're going to clear that out. Fresh slate. And all of my handgun setups are relatively similar for the semi-automatic. So, we're going to start with the muzzle. And we're going to put the compensator on it just like we did um, with the M19. Now, the compensator, like I said, it's just between the compensator, the muzzle brake, and the monolithic suppressor, uh, for practically all my handguns, the compensator just has better recoil control and like when you measure out through the stats and like once you use it in game you'll kind of get what I'm talking about. Um, but we're going to rock the compensator for our muzzle attachment. Next we're going to go to our barrel and for the barrel we're going to go with the Vanguard Elite. Once again we just it's, it helps with the damage, the bullet velocity, the recoil control and when it says aim down sight speed and movement speed is reduced you got to remember the pistols already have like the best and quickest ADS times and the best movement because they're handguns so it's not even noticeable especially if you normally are using ARs or subs so like that it won't hurt us in any way shape or form go for the trigger we're going to go for the lightweight trigger again um, compared to the M19 it definitely has a slower fire rate so um, you could play around with the lightweight trigger and the match grade trigger. Uh, it's really just about if you're able to control yourself whenever you're doing longer to medium range engagements so that you ain't just spamming your trigger and which is causing you like poor accuracy. Um, but the lightweight trigger is what I would recommend and I'd also recommend not unplugging your controller with your uh, leg. Let me bend down here and pick that up. Next, going to ammunition, we're just going to take and throw the max ammo capacity that we can get, which is a 26 round mag on this. Like I said, 26 rounds of 45 ACP. I'll do a little bit of damage. And then, last but not least, go to laser. I like the tack laser because, you know, it don't give you away the whole time. Just whenever you aim down sights, and that does help uh, compensate for some of the attachments we've thrown on here. That slows your ADS time down and kind of mount, takes it back to... Uh, back to what it was. So those are the five attachments. Uh, you could always swap out the laser for an optic if you like having an optic on your handguns. I don't. I think the iron sights um, on the uh, X16 are phenomenal, especially with this variant that I have. Uh, then again, like I said, the grips hadn't really played around with them, hadn't found anything I like. And you know, the perks had somebody in a recent uh, the M M19 video that said they like to use um, slide a hand instead of the max ammo which does make sense because it's kind of you know back and forth it just depends on like your play style if you're playing aggressive a lot of times it can be helpful to have more ammunition at once without having to reload even if the reload time is faster um but with that in mind like i said play around with it depends on your play style this is for my play style and what i've found works best especially for some of the uh the faster paced maps and some of the faster paced game modes Okay, we're going to take and throw the old gold camo on here because we got this bad boy gold. It won't be long until we got these things platinum, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just look how sexy that is. Throw the old doge on there, too. And then just to recap, for the primary, we want to uh, have the riot shield just because that really, that can help save you from getting shot in the back, help you turn on some people. Uh, perks, once again, depends on what you're doing, but I would recommend EOD, Hardline, and Shrapnel. Uh, and then Lethals and Tacticals, it's personal preference. I run Frag and Flash or Stun, but a lot of, there's... The, the, the tacticals and lethals on here are pretty well balanced, so you can't really go wrong there. So for all these pistol class setups, I'm going to keep trying to hop in games of Shoot House. Now for this one, uh, I think the M19 was a TDM match. We're going to be playing Headquarters, so now these game modes will play a lot differently. I'd rather have the M19 on a Headquarters match, um, but we'll make it work. We will make it work, no problem. Uh, hopefully the internet, everything looks Gucci there. I don't know why the gold just looks brighter on this uh, X16, but you know what? I, I like it. This was definitely my favorite um, for the longest time, but then after I got the M19 uh, situated the way that I like it, uh, I'd say the M19 is probably my favorite now. This is a close second. Oh, baby, look at us go. Wait, did we get him? No, we didn't. So one of our teammates must have got... Who is pushing me, teammate? Let's see how this plays. Like I said, I'm not a big, uh, not a big headquarter guy. 
Okay, boom. King Slayer, dude. Okay, okay, okay. Commentary is going to be back and forth because, like I said, I start to mumble with this sometimes because, like, I'm trying to focus up and focus on the objective because I like to play the objective in these game modes. And anytime you're trying to play the objective, your KD typically suffers. Okay, there's a guy right here on top of me. You know, sometimes I think the riot shield just doesn't work. But what do I know? Okay, double check ping. Okay, we got a little bit of packet loss, but normally that takes and levels out uh, towards the, the like the middle of the match. Sweet. So the, the lightweight trigger, um, if you're going from the M19 to this gun or, or vice versa, you'll you'll really notice the fire rate difference. If you haven't, then you probably won't notice it that much. But just be aware of that. I just bent down so that guy could shoot me right in the head. But right now we're we're pretty level with everybody else that we're going against. Uh, kill wise and movement wise so right there see that was the instance where I kind of had to take and lay off the trigger just a wee bit to compensate for the distance that, that I was going or like for the distance of the engagement I was in how many cruise missiles are they going to get Jesus Christ okay I know these guys are going to push back up to this corner because they think I'm still here oh nope he's just going to pre-aim it good move on him somebody's hopping up hopping up God, dude, I, they're pre-aimed every corner. They've probably got a UAV. Ghost is a great thing to run. I just, I don't know. I feel like the ones, that, the, the perks that I use for, like, the aggressive play style typically works better. Uh, so that's what I've been doing. But uh, I'm kind of a stickler. I don't play around my perks that much. After I find something I like, I kind of just roll with it if I have good results with it. And so far, I've had very good results uh, with the class setups and stuff that I've been using, I will be doing, like I said, the AR and stuff, because my, uh, my SCAR class, now let me tell you, that right there is a good one. Like, that one right there, I've dropped some killer games with that. I, I'm going to take the MP7 off and uh, put a pistol in its place because uh, it's not really necessary. And now that i got my pistols in a way that I like them, it'll be better to run them. Okay, now there is... We, dude, I swear, you got to love spawns on these small maps. we we, we got to pick it up. Got to pick it up. Okay, this packet loss is definitely a problem. And I'm not happy about it. Dude, but we, like I said, we slam grenade kills. Like, that's that's for sure. Okay, stopping power in the 45 ACP is great. Oh, let's back up a second. Go back mid. Whoop. Okay. There we go. These things really drop it like it's hot. It's the same guy just sticking his gun in my chest every three seconds. We just try to get lined up better. Get that grenade in that little corner. There we go. Double kill. Beautiful. Okay, I have no. Oh my god. Don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. It's where the heavier. This is where the mag comes in handy. Oh, he's seen me. Is he going to push me though? That's the question. And. What was that? That was four shots. Okay, so that's where I. Uh, Pistol versus AR, we uh, will uh, it'll hurt you more than it'll help you. But the close range engagements, like unless you run and get somebody with a shotgun or a sub that really uh, that runs sub a lot and knows what they're doing, you should be good to go. Okay, this guy's just chilling in the corner, dude. Okay, I, I deserve that one. I should have killed him. That was that was my fault. Poor accuracy. It's hard for me to switch between these pistols because they all like with this game where they actually took and there's there's a much noticeable difference between like how they handle. And uh, how the recoil control is, which is awesome. And there was a lag spike. Jesus Christ, dude. I go and cut down 57 trees just to get better internet. And then I end up with this garbage. That's the downside to living in the mountains. But this game's going good. Like I said, we're 65 and 0, so like we're doing good. Top, almost top of the leaderboard. We'll, we'll, we'll level it out here in a second. If anything, consider this game a warm-up game. But it, like this, this is with this map, this game mode, you're getting to see how this class setup plays out. Um, if you play back a little bit more and didn't push as hard, then I'm sure you, uh... dude, I, I've got to kill him. Why am I lagging? Okay, go out to go the old faithful grenades. How is there nobody here? Okay, well, you know what? I'm not even going to peek at. 
wait for somebody to push out. There we go. I knew he was going to get that puss. Oh. Why wouldn't he whack me? Who, nobody whacks on this game except for the one guy that I run into. But just like, I mean, that shows you that I'm not, I'm not just playing this and then like playing 5, 10, 20 matches and then uploading the best one. Like, I just want you to see real raw gameplay with the class setup. Seeing if I do bad, this is the one that is going to be, uh, this is one that's going to be showcased for this setup. Dude, I am, I am done with these pussies. So it says they're down. Okay, there was a guy back there. I'm just going to chill right here in this corner for a second. Push up. Okay, we got somebody there. That means it's probably going to be coming this way too. Nope. Okay. Where did they go? Okay. That one's on me. God, we gotta pick it up though, we really do. I mean, like, we're doing good as a team, and in terms of the objective, which is the main thing, but just kill-wise and stuff, it's not working in our favor. That guy's got like a lucky headshot on me, that's phenomenal. Okay. But this is a, this is a good map, it's still, like, anytime you have small maps like this, you're gonna have, like, spawns that are just not the idea but it's nowhere near as bad as shipment like shipments just shipments just shipment that's all I know to say there's a guy in that window up there so let's not deal with him they gotta be pushing oh there's another enemy on it Dude, that guy with the beard, I, I hope he trips and stubs his toe tonight. I really do. We got it. We, we got to make him go. Like we got, we we can't let him win. Just gonna wait for him to push up. Playing the objective, that's what we just gotta keep telling ourselves. We're doing it for the objective. Look at the spawns, bro! Look at the spawns. Kinda bad to do a class setup video for the best class setup and then, like, not even get top of the leaderboard, but must get HQ. I, I think they, they've, like, nerfed the, uh, the right shield because I remember it being a lot better in terms of protecting your back. Hit some cover fire right there. We got a teammate on here. Awesome. Unless we just get slammed like 27 grenades, we should be able to cap it right now. I'm gonna throw on the heavy hitter rounds and just get shot from outer space. Then we got this. We got this. Oh, there's only 22 seconds left in the game, and that's great because we're already back at that 15 minute uh point in the in the recording anyways by the time i edit this down it's still probably around 12 to 15 minutes i think i hate that we're so low on the leaderboard but uh what can you do what can you do like i said everybody still got y'all still got to see uh see how this class set plays out anyways i said it's headquarters on a map this small so even when you run subs and ars and stuff like if you're uh if you're actually playing the game mode not hanging back Let's get another kill real quick. Follow out. Dude, how many assists have we got? Okay, that was a reload right there. That was that was close. Please don't let my own grenade kill me. I don't think they know I'm here. But somebody's dead. Oh, 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 that's not good. Oh my, oh my god, all the grenades. How? How? Hey, pussy down. Oh, 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 we are just in the thick of everything right now, you know? Oh. Up, down, sideways, left, right. Oh, we almost got a nice triple right there. Had to spray and pray. 
And you know what? That's it, boys. That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. Yeah, I already knew it. We didn't, we didn't have any good plays or anything that game, but it ended up being final anyways. We came close to having final. But yeah, guys, so look, that is the, uh, that's my class, that's my best X16 class setup for that guy, for that gun. That's what I mostly use, mostly use to get it gold. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing probably the 1911 or the Deagle next, and the one that'll definitely be last will be the, uh, the 357 Mag. But I hope you guys enjoyed try this class setup out. Let me know how it went for you. Let me know anything y'all do different and why y'all do it different. Uh, love, love hearing you guys. Love seeing y'all's comments in the comments. Um, but until the next one, adios.